This is not an expert channel, this is my progress vlog. When I make a system or solve a problem for a personal project, I record it here for myself and the whole world. The animation you are seeing inspired three videos, one about my early experiments with line art and some real life issues you may encounter, the second is a tutorial about creating and using a black and white mat for masking, and the third one on making a powerful transition system between multiple images or materials. All three videos are live on the channel and this is the first one hello guys today we will look at some issues with uh, line art that you may encounter in your projects these are real life uh, issues that I encountered myself this will uh, save you maybe some headaches trying to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it I was helped to solve them by Alice in the blender grease pencil group on Facebook so you are welcome to join us there he's got a channel on YouTube too it's called blender is love so we may check it out too so let's start looking at this stuff so we have this collection that I called line art with these objects this pedestal this uh, column here a plane for the ground and a wall I have this frame here that is outside of the collection I don't want to add line art to it I have also this grease pencil object that will add the line art modifier to so let's add it line art and then we choose our collection here the line art collection and then we choose a layer we have only one layer so we choose it and then we choose a material it is generally a stroke but you can use a fill material fill materials don't work well with line art but they may work in certain conditions maybe with uh, simpler objects like a cube or something let's disable overlays and you see that we get this so we have here some settings edge types for example we have the contour in my case here loose material borders edge marks don't seem to make any difference so we may as well disable these uh, we have the intersections it is the intersection between two objects like between the plane here and the wall so if disable it you see that we got no line and we have the crease here I think there are the creases inside the objects and we may adjust the angle here depending on what we want we have the style setting too the thickness is an important setting let's lower it to 15 only and we have the opacity here too you can if you want add more line art modifiers for example you can add one for the contour and then add another one for the creases and you have uh, the contour thicker than the creases you can also of course have different colors of lines too you can use fills too be careful though that if you add more line arts modifiers you will also slow down your pc so what are the issues that i talked about the first issue is with this frame as i said this frame is outside my collection and still we have some lines on this guy this seems to be happening because of this edge type here the intersection so if you disable intersections these lines go okay i don't know if it's by design if it's a flaw in uh, blender why an object outside the collection would have lines maybe the developers figured that the user may want the intersections only even if an object is outside the collection or maybe because of that uh, if you hit three here you see that these lines are not showing because my object is overlapping with the wall there is some space here as you can see so how to fix that so either as i said here you disable intersections or you can go to your object the frame here and go to here to object properties and here to line art and in usage change it from inherit to exclude or you can use a collection to put in all the objects that you don't want to be affected by the line art and in the collection you go here to collection properties and under line art you change from include to exclude so i guess it worked let's go to frame 2 and see if it works yes it does work the second issue is with this wall here as you can see there is a line here under the wall but this is a line of intersection between the plane and the wall disable intersections you see that the line disappears if we select the camera 
hit G and move the camera here to the corner you see that when the corner of the wall shows we can see our line again let's do ctrl c the problem here can be shown if we select our wall and go to edit mode so here we see that in this lower line here we have only one vertice here in the corner and then one vertice in the other corner to calculate line art blender will need at least one vertice in the camera view to be able to draw the line so here what we can do is just subdivide so a to select all the vertices and then right click and then hit subdivide but before doing that there is another method if we go to our line art modifier and down here to composition we have this sitting here it's called overscan so if we increase this value maybe 0 0.1 0 0.2 we got our line here and the corner so this sitting here will calculate the lines even outside the camera view more and more this of course may slow down your pc so we will just put this back to zero and then select our wall enable overlays again go back to edit mode and this time we subdivide and voila disable overlays we have online the third issue has to do with shade smooth so i wanted my objects here to be shade smoothed to look nicer of course but when you right click and then do shade smooth you see that you lose some of the lines this is also a very easy fix so we go to our grease pencil object again in the settings i think under geometry processing and we just stick this one here crease on smooth so this way we have our lines back and everything is fine so these were the three issues that we got we got our line here even without the intersections checked the intersections is one of the settings that will slow down more and more your uh, line art so if we can disable it and still get a good look that's good so this was it thank you for watching and see you in another video peace